Hi, my name is Ricciarda and I come from Milan, which is in the northern part of Italy. I prefer having a caffè lungo, which is like a double shot espresso. My name is Federico. I'm from Verona, which is a city in the northeast of Italy. A city of Shakespeare, a city of love, city of passion. So maybe sometimes we like to add some grappa in our coffee. I'm Enrico and uh, I come from Salerno, which is in southern Italy. The most common type of coffee is ristretto. It is a short espresso. This is the espresso bar at the Italian Embassy. Emmanuel Manziti, tell us, how do Italians drink their coffee and how can we as Americans learn to drink coffee as Italians do? For me, like the nice way of experiencing a coffee is basically sitting outside on a deck looking at the sea. So when you order a coffee in cafe in Italy, you don't get a coffee, a big coffee. We, you, yeah. get, you get a, an espresso. You get an espresso. Some people like it short, some people like it long, some people like it with cold milk, uh, hot milk, milk foam, cocoa on top, no cocoa on top, and the same goes for cappuccino. In the States, a latte is supposed to have less milk foam on top, while a cappuccino is supposed to be super foamy. While in Italy, we basically have the cappuccino, so they will tell you, I like it with a lot of foam, little foam, no foam at all, foam on the side, you know. I always order my cappuccino very dry, okay. which, which means not a lot of milk, too. Okay. When we're standing at this bar and there are no stools to sit at, you come in, you have a nice conversation, as I'm having with you right now, and you have your espresso standing up and then walk away. Yeah. Traditionally, I'd say people come into bar, stand like the two of us right here, order for a coffee and then pay and leave. You gotta make sure that the cup is really hot and the coffee is really hot. That's why, I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, please. So the ones they have in Italy actually have some water on top and the water on top tends to be really, really hot. So the cups that you put on top of the coffee machine are actually in the water while they're on top. So that does two things. It sanitizes the cup and it makes the cup super hot. So when you serve the coffee, of course, of course the coffee is really hot because it comes right out from the machine and the cup is super hot. Sometimes you cannot even, you know, like put it next to your lips because it's, it's really, really hot. So, so heat the cups, that's a food hack. Yes. That's the best way to do it. And this is a Maserati, this machine. Yes. I and mean, this is incredible, <laughs> this machine. It is. There is no single way of getting the right coffee in Italy. Everybody has his own ideas of how a coffee should be drunk, where it should be drunk. Uh, if you have milk on it or not, uh, if you want to add a little spike to it, put in some grappa inside. Places where it's very cold, it gives you like a nice uh, a boost of energy. I have never ordered a coffee with grappa in it. Well, you that's should try. exciting to me. That's, uh, that's something you should try to do one day. One thing that I think is very common to every single Italian person is that they link the smell of coffee to the morning. Uh, like for me, if I wake up in the morning and I smell coffee, I know that my mother is there. Yeah. So, because, you know, that's the first thing she does. She wakes up, she makes coffee. You link that smell to, you know, like family, home. That's a feeling that I love. That, that's one of the things that I miss about Italy, to be honest. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Is it appropriate to toast with a cappuccino? No. No. Oh, man. <laughs>